All right, so this is just a quick tutorial on how to rip CDs from a physical CD onto a PC. So to get started, we're just going to open up the start menu, type in the Microsoft Store. Once we're in here, we're going to go up to the search button right there. We're going to type in free AC. Scroll down a little bit and you should see this free AC audio converter. We're going to go ahead and install this. And then once that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and launch that. It should pop up just like this with the message saying tip of the day, whatever. So basically the way this works is it looks very complicated. It's actually really simple. So the only thing you actually need to worry about is the output folder here. So this is just where it's going to save the music that you're doing. So you can change it by hitting select, put it wherever you want on your computer, hit OK. And at this point, all we have to do is just put in a CD. So, so what you can do is hit this eject button right up here and this will actually open up the tray on the PC. So I actually have a CD ready to go. Um, my main PC doesn't have a DVD drive at all, so I can't use my main PC for this, but we're gonna be using a stream PC. So what you do is you put the CD in. Like... And then once it closes, it should read it. It's picked up that it's a DVD slash disc, whatever. And there we go. It's it's popped up in the in the program. It automatically searches the database online to try and figure out what CD it is. Sometimes it might ask you, or oh, do you think it's uh, from this album or from this album? You just have to select whatever the label of it says. But yeah, once it's come up like this with all the, the titles and the artists and everything, all you have to do is hit this little play button right there, and that will start the process of copying it over. Now there's other options of how to copy it. There's a whole like list of different ways to do it. Some ways are probably better than others. If you care about quality, you might want to look into which ways is the best for you. But a lot of the, the better quality options use more storage. So I always just leave it at default if you're on a standard computer with like a 500 gig hard drive or something. In most cases, most people won't be able to tell the difference between the quality. But yeah, you can see the first progress bar here is, is per track. So the current track it's doing is nearly done. And the second progress bar is the overall progress for the whole CD. And as this gets to the end, you'll see that it will go through all the different tracks and get rid of them from the list. All right, as you can see, it's gone through every item on the list. You can see there's no, no file being done right now. It's all finished. At this point, what you can do is hit the eject button. It will pop out the CD. And as long with that, you can just hit the open button right here. And that will take you to the folder where the music has actually been copied to. You'll see it's been given an, a title, like a folder title. And inside the folder is all the different songs. Now, one thing you will notice is that they may not have album art. And that's something that bothered me, so I wanted to fix that. So let me show you how I actually fix that. All right, so here I am now on my main PC with the, the album here. And it still doesn't have any album art, so here's how we actually fix that. What I did was I found this free program online called MP3 Tags. If we just open this up right here. Now, all you really have to do is drag it in. It'll, it'll pick up all the different songs. And then you go up to here, Tag Sources. Discogs Artist Plus Album. Uh, the first time you do this, it will ask for an API key. All you have to do is create a Discogs account, and then you click the link again. It will it will give you a, a place to put in the key, and then this will work. But yeah, you hit Next. It searches up the database. And I saw it by country just because there's not many of the same CD released here in Australia, and it just makes it easier to find it. So I go ahead and hit Australia. It should be the same CD. Let's have a look what comes up here. It takes a second to load it because it's downloading it from the internet, but here we go. All you really have to do here is make sure the album art's all right, make sure the song titles are exactly the same in terms of the name, or whatever you want them to be. And then once that's done, you hit OK, it'll tag all the songs. And then one final thing I like to do is remove this comment from all the different tracks, and that's it. Now you can get rid of these, and if we close out of this, go back into the folder, you'll see that if we look at the icons, they now have album art, and that is exactly what you want. So hopefully this helped you out. Please leave a like and subscribe if you think it did. And be sure to check out my Twitch page, maybe even join my Discord or check out some of the other stuff in the description. Hope you have an amazing day and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.